What's up, everybody? Um, here for uh, a new edition of GC Talk. Guillotine Crowns, myself, Uncommon NASA. Got Short Fuse on the other side here. What's going on, everybody? Um, so today we're going to do a quick video just to sort of unbox um, the Guillotine Crowns vinyl. It's been a very long time. Um, very long story short, you know, we finished the album late last year. We placed the order for the vinyl late last year before the whole world understood that it was going to take a year or more to get vinyl back. We didn't get that word until after we placed the order. Um, and so, you know, I did like a whole dope shit podcast on this. It's not out yet. So if you're interested in the details and the struggles of, of pressing vinyl right now, um, check that out. It'll be dope shit podcast number 150. Um, that'll come out about a month from now, I guess. But that being said, the vinyl is finally here. Um, it's actually been here for about four or five days. And I've waited to open it myself for this video to organize because uh, our schedules are garbage right now. Um, so I'm just going to open this up. Fuse has not seen this, obviously, because he's in Chicago and I'm in New York. And I have the vinyl and I haven't seen it because I haven't opened it yet. So we're just going to show up this vinyl. Um, and while I'm opening this fuse, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the album itself or what have you. Um, no, I, I, uh, I just want to thank everybody that's been patiently waiting for yeah. this, uh, record. Um, you know, a lot of you have pre-ordered it. Um, I want to thank the people that have been rocking with this record and have gone back to it, um, and played it multiple times. And I just appreciate all the feedback that we've gotten. And I'm glad everybody kind of dug it and got what we were doing. So, cause we, we really tried to do something different than what everybody else is doing uh, currently. Definitely. So, sh yeah. And shout out to everybody that's done. First of all, shout out to everybody that has pre-ordered this vinyl and has been waiting with us. You know, we put the pre-order up probably in like the spring of 2022. And we openly said, you know, it wasn't like we were trying to be sneaky. Like we said, like, this is not going to be in until September. And yet a lot of people still like had faith in us and had faith in the project enough to to pre-order it and wait this long. Some people even ordered with other things in the package that were already available and have waited this whole time to get their whole thing. I haven't got one complaint from anybody. So everything is going out as soon as this video is done being recorded. And also shout out to everybody that reviewed the record when it came out digitally and on CD. CDs are still available, by the way. But like, you know, digital and CD because the reviews we got were 95% were, were just so spot on for what we were doing. It was really dope as an artist. I think, Fuse, you would agree to like see that people actually understood what we were trying to do. Um, so without long, further ado, this is the actual vinyl right here. So it is just lovely giant guillotine crowns best logo in the world right there and then the back you know this is very similar to the cd design up to this point um you know and those are my hand styles and all that you know because i used to get down like that and that's basically the outside into the old school jean rip if you don't know if you don't know now you know do that with a pair of jeans. So, cool black insert. But the real point of this video is to show up the vinyl piece itself. Since again, like the 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 CD sort of matches this design. But you can see here, we've got some very fancy colored blood splattered vinyl. Oh man, that looks dope. That looks real dope. So, again, like we did like the little flip label on this side is white and red. Label on this side is red and, red and white. Um, and that's really how we get down, you know? Um, this is our first splatter from the center like this. I remember when we did autonomy music, we did sort of like a cloud design. Uh, and a lot of the other designs for my solo stuff have been like a solid color or like a semi-clear color. Um, so we've done a couple of different designs over the years with Uncommon. This is our first splatter from the inside. It's pretty, pretty fucking cool. Um, 
you know, to have like a color splattered over white like this. So, you know, I should say, you know, this is the unboxing, so we have to be salesmen a little bit. Head over to uncommonrecords.bandcamp.com. It's no longer a pre-order. I've got a box right here. We're going to send these immediately out. So if you've been waiting for them to come in, it's a good time to go grab them. I think this Friday is Bandcamp Friday, so if you wanted to do it then, that's fine. If not, to be honest, you know, render on to Caesars what is his. I don't really care about Bandcamp taking their percentage. If you really want the record today, buy it today. If you want to wait until Friday, uh, wait until Friday. But, you know, Guillotine Crowns, Hills of Dion. Um, you know, for those that have not heard about the album, um, I produced the entire thing. Me and Short Fuse rap on the entire thing. It's our group. It's our baby together. And, um, you know, we've got Duke Zero One and Gaja. Rest in peace. It was the last thing that Gaja recorded for Uncommon. Um, I have something else recorded that eventually will, will find its way out. And I've done some remixes since. But... Um, in terms of the last original recording, Horseman Armor is it. Um, you know, Duke Zero One, of course, from Last Sons is on it. Tracy Jones, who, you know, we really re-released the, the amazing Human Cloud Abandonment earlier to this. He's on a track. Sketch 185 is on a on an amazing track. Um, and, uh, of course, Gyroscope, um, Colossal Structure, and IB Focus is, is on a track as well. So... And it is 14 songs, longer than most albums I'm a part of, thanks to Short Fuse. <laughs> yeah, well, there, I didn't want to cut any songs. So, yeah, exactly. And, and uh, it worked out, because I think the whole album flows really well. Um, we definitely got our point across. Um, what I love about this record, and I don't know if anybody ever thought about this, or if I'm just a weirdo and only thinks about things like this, but... Um, to me, you could always play the album forward or play it in reverse. And it'll, to play it in reverse, it's actually a, di a little bit of a different concept, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so give that a try if you guys haven't thought about that um, and see what, you know, see the, the difference in flow. But the, the, the way that we sequenced it was with the intention of playing it on a loop. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think another thing that that raises, if I can say, is like, you know, this now has sides, which is how we lay out records is to do sides. Um, the CD, you're not going to get that. So, you know, on the on the vinyl, it's a clear sort of step. Like, it, we, we laid this album out to gradually get more and more sort of, I don't know if you want to call it socially relevant or political or whatever. That was the intent of the of the of the layout. This just fell out, but I should show off. It does come with a download card um, that you can download the actual digital. Um, but yeah, it, it you know, now at this point, you could play the B-side first if you want to hear the more, you know, really amped up, more political side of Guillotine Crowns, or you could play the A-side over and over again if you want to hear more of the MC shit. Yeah, man, and shout out to everybody that came through and, you know, did verses for us. Because they really added a special spice to this. It's a good balance of people that are on it. Everybody fit. And, um, you know, it's credit to us to some degree for, for sort of EPing it in a way that, that laid out well. But without the talent of the people that cameoed, you know, there's a lot missing from this record. I mean, if all those cameos weren't on there, it would be a, a much different album. Even if we had kept the same concept without those people bringing what they brought to it. So... No, Definitely I agree. shout out to all those people I mentioned. Because, uh, you know, like I said, everybody has their, their, you know, different abilities, and they just added something different to each song that they were guests on, especially Sketch, man. I, I, that song's always stuck out to me ever since we recorded it. So, because I remember when he went in the booth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were he, all together when we recorded that. Yeah, so that was cool that we got to do that together. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he did that, I, 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 I told you right away, I'm like, he's going last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no nah, i was and that helped us you know we, we were able to lay that song out in a graduating way where it got more and more intense and for good reason you know and like so shout out to everybody that was on it again everybody that pre-ordered you know and in, in some way we will thank you in a in a 
<laughs> in some way in the future. But we're really happy for the dedication to this album. And again, if you haven't gotten it, if you've been waiting for the vinyl, you just don't want to pre-order. It's here. It's in my hand. It's shipping the minute that this camera stops. Um, and, you know, we have a couple remixes actually coming out um, that are going to filter out through digital. So we're not done with guillotine crowns yet. But, or at least we're not done with guillotine crowns at all. But we're not done with Hills of Dion yet. Um, but in the meantime, the surprise for this video, Shorefuse has seen this in person, so he's not completely shocked. But um, but this is Shorefuse's solo album, um, Painkiller Boutique on CD. Um, these are sort of a new approach for us with Digipack in terms of like really having like a full laid out, you know, three panel Digipack like this. Um, you know, so this is a step up for us in CD quality. We really want to bring CDs a little bit more to the forefront. You can see our format that just matched what I just showed you. That is the loyalty star of Uncommon Records right there. And of course, shout out to Shore Fuse for, for putting this out into the universe. But, you know, that's what's underneath the disc. So um, these will be available on 1014. They'll be available for pre-order this Friday, October 7th, 2022. Uh, they'll be shipping October 14th and they'll be available on all digital. It'll be available on all digital streaming services at that point, too. So Shore Fuse. Some final words on putting out two albums in one year. Man, it's uh, it's really cool. I I I've never done it before, so I um, I'm excited for people to hear the differences between the two records. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, I um, as people see with with my solo album, um, you know, there's there's some overarching themes in both records, and you know. Uh, I mean, I've told you this privately, but I'll say it publicly. I appreciate you being involved with my solo album as much as you were. You, the hat you wore this time was a little bit more behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But I just want to let people know so that there's no confusion. He gave my solo record the sound that it needed uh, and, you know, put his own touch on it. So I appreciate it, you know, being you, being, you being involved every step of the way. So... What up, man? I mean, I was happy to be there. I was happy to have me involved. You know, shout out to Dr. Kill, who produced the majority of the record, uh, Messiah Music, and um, Blood Money Perez, who did uh, two tracks each. And then I did one track that I produced, and I kind of, like, EP'd the record with with Fuse, um, or, or in support of Fuse, really. Um, again, it's another album that has, uh, let's see, 14 tracks. So, you know, 28 tracks that Shore Fuse has been involved, involved with and in full concepted cohesive records this year. So shout out to you. Um, we're going to get out on that note. Um, we are going to do like a full sort of uh, GC talk, you know, where I, I basically am going to interview Shore Fuse about the album. And I think when you hear the album, you'll see why that is like a really valid thing for our YouTube channel here. Uh, so subscribe, Uncommon Records NYC. This is the channel. It's the place to be. Go and subscribe. There's a thing below here that I'm pointing at that I'm going to put here later. Um, and of course, go to UncommonRecords.Bandcamp.com for both of these projects. Guillotine Crowns Vinyl, UncommonNASA.com. You will also find our regular web shop. If you're not a Bandcamp person, you can easily buy it there just as well. We don't care which source you buy it from, frankly. So, uh, shout out to everybody that is in support of us. Peace, y'all.